Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone today? So, as you see, I got something new again. Um, I actually ordered this right before the scare started. So it just arrived today. This is probably going to be one of the last things I order for a while. For a lot of reasons, but anyway, I'm not going to get into all that right now. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, I found these in a discount store on the way home um, yesterday. And I thought these were really cute. And I love the color. And look at that, is that nice? They were like, I think they were kind of like a dollar each, maybe a little less. But it was like a set of three, so I thought it was great to like kind of organize some of my stuff. And if you hear my son screaming, he is home from school. Uh, I can actually say this with confidence that New York City schools are closed. So, yep, he's playing video games and he's online. Uh, anyway, so, and I found this guy. This was like $1.99, but this is really cool. It actually, like, shifts open and closed and you actually add it to another shelf. So... I would do something like that and like slip it in. I know it's not going to stay right now, I, but you get the idea. So it's going to like make an actual draw here. So that's really cute. But here we go with my guy from Arteza. These are, as far as I know, new paints. Um, they're iridescent acrylic colors. I am really, really excited. Or it came up as something new. And I don't think I, I may have a holographic glitter, but oh my goodness. So I got this set and these were a little pricey, but you know, Arteza, I do use Afterpay when I buy from Arteza sometimes. That way, you know, I can get what I want and pay it off a little at a time. So look how beautiful that is for my Look how gorgeous. I don't know what is the name of this. One is called Moon Dust or something. Yeah. One is called Moonstone and the other one is Fairy Dust. So let's open up this guy. Wow. Look how nice. So that's like holographic glitter. So let's open up uh, this guy. You know what? I'm going to be right back because I want to use both hands, okay? And let me get my little camera stand, uh, my little tripod thingy. That way I use both hands and not be a dingus about it, okay? I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. I am back. So let's... Oh, here. Now I open them up and stop being silly. I don't know. I guess this is moon dust or moonstone, whatever. Uh, let me get the right name of it. Let me not be... Yeah, Moonstone, and this is the Fairy Dust. That is really, really pretty. I don't think I have any, I think this is the first holographic ones I have, possibly. But, yeah, I love these. These are gorgeous. Okay, I cannot wait. I'm trying to save a little bit of my resin for the Jack uh, Septiguy, um video. Because I just want to make sure, I'm sure I'll have enough, but I am really dying to make some of those um, new coasters as well. But I don't want to screw up and, you know, not have enough for the Jack video. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm going to read it uh, on my own, whatever. I, I, I'm assuming you have to add, like, a flow troll or a medium to these. Because, yeah, probably. So, this is Playful Pink. This is Glowing Peach. There's only, it's a set of 10. So I can quickly show you guys this. This is called Shady Orange. And this is Fiery Red. Very pretty. And this is called Electric Plum Purple. Wow, that is gorgeous. Yeah, it doesn't say like pre-mixed or anything, which is good. So that'll be maybe I'll get some cells out of these because the um, 
ready mixed ones, then you, you couldn't get cells out of them if you, you know, tried. Uh, this is called Royal Purple. This is, ooh, Fairy Tale Blue. Look how nice that is. I love these colors so far. I am excited. Wow. Shocking Lime Green. Wow. This is all oh, nice. I love these names. Dreamy Lemon Yellow. Beautiful. And we have Fancy Black. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So this is the new Arteza Iridescent. Um, yeah, see, 10 unique colors, multi-purpose, water-based, high viscosity, matte finish, blendable, non-toxic. So yeah, it doesn't say anything about pre-mixed. So today we are going to make something with these. I do not know what kind of pour yet. I am going to figure that out now. I'm going to go and mix some colors, pick some colors. I really don't know what I want to use yet. Maybe we'll use some of these. And then I'll be back, pick out a couple of colors, and then I'm going to come back and show you what we're doing today. Alrighty, a little backwards today, but it's kind of like an unboxing video. And then I want to make something with what is in the box today. Alright, so I will be back, and I will see you guys in a second. Hey guys, so I am very quickly back. And I mix my paint up, so we got some Floetrol. Again, we're using the Arteza Iridescent Acrylic Colors. And so we got the Fairy Tale Blue. These are all names new to me, so Playful Pink. Then we got some Royal Purple. Look how pretty that is. And then we got the shocking lime green. So that's what it looks like in each cup. And yeah, so that's it. And we're gonna use some of this. This is the fairy dust, I believe, and this is the moonstone. I'm not gonna add it to the paint. I will probably sprinkle on some afterwards, hopefully. If not, I'm just gonna use it in some resin art. But I'll probably just sprinkle some because, again, I have turned into the Glitter Queen of New York City. That's a good name. All right. And we are going to do a dustpan pour. So this is a tiny little dustpan. And this is an 8x10 canvas. All righty. So let's get started. And I will be back in a second.
guys, I am back. So, yeah, the paint was a little thick. This is the first time I was, you know, using this paint. I thought it was going to be thin enough, but that's okay. Um, it's all okay. It's all <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I just felt like, um, like the movement was too stagnant. So I just took my favorite tool, which literally is this beautiful stick here. And, yeah, I just dragged it kind of like a wrecker. A, you know, like a wrecker ring, you know, this is a wrecker dustpan. But, um, yeah, I kind of like the movement more now. It has a little more flow to it. I mean, I knew I was going to hit this bad boy up with uh, the glitters. Didn't think I was going to use both of them, but I did. But I really, really love these colors. And I like the fact that I just dragged the stick across it. It gave it a nice little, you know, like I said, movement. Just a little more um, action going on, but yeah, I really, really like this. I love these paints. It's really, really pretty. I'm wondering, maybe I know it's wet. Don't come for me. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I kind of like it better this way. I don't know. But I'm gonna wait till it dries, and then you'll see the glitters even more. But you can definitely see them. These are so beautiful. I can't wait to use them in the resin. I'm like dying right now I'm dying anyway <laughs> um yeah so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed i am definitely going to be experimenting more uh with these paints honestly so far um the arteza and the primal flow are really my two favorite paints so i'm going to be really uh happy using these and adding these actually i'm probably going to you know what? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix some Primal Flow up um, with the Arteza. And I know they're going to work beautifully together because these aren't the pre-mix and you could add your own stuff. I'm just going to make this a little thinner. Um, I haven't really been using water to thin my paint. I'm just probably going to add a little more Floetrol, maybe a dot of water. I don't know. But we shall see. I really love these colors. They are gorgeous. I cannot wait to try them all out. So yeah, you will be seeing more of these paints. Probably, you know, I'm gonna mix it up with the Primal Flow, try all these colors. And yeah, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the painting. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Everyone out there, please stay safe and healthy. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, all my links are below, as well as all the materials I use. I always list everything below. If you want to support me further, I do have a PayPal. And also, if anyone is interested in buying any of my paintings or any of my resin art, my email is listed below as well. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hey guys, I'm back real quick. It is actually, I made that, um, it's actually Tuesday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today's the 17th. I totally missed it, um, due to everything that's going on in the world, quite frankly. Um, it just, things got all backed up. So, but happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm just back on. It is the next day. I made this video last night, Monday. Today's Tuesday. And I'm about to upload this video. But I just came back on because A, I just want, in the same video, I just want to show you how this dried. It dried so beautifully. I just couldn't wait to show you until the next video. I am going to keep it like that, uh, vertical. And it came out really gorgeous. Um, it's just, these, these glitters are beautiful. The paint is really, really nice, and I love the way it dried. It's just gorgeous. I just couldn't wait to show you, so I wanted to show you in the same video. And I just quickly want to let you know um, that um, I was supposed to have my Jack Septiguy video ready for today, but things, like I said, explain due to what's going on in the world right now. Um, yeah, so hopefully, you know, because I want to give that its proper time, and I just want to work on that a little bit. I have all my ideas in my head, and I have all my supplies. 
I, you know, I just want to, um, you know, do my dedication video to him um, and take my time with it because he is actually, him and Jack Septicai and Markiplier are really both my favorite YouTubers and yeah, I just want to do it properly so I hope you understand. And like I said, I have everything set up. I have all my supplies, all my, you know, materials. But, you know, I just want to work on a couple of things uh, with that. So, you know, it's either it could be this week or the beginning of next week. You know, I don't know. But it very could well be uh, this week. So, anyway, be patient with me, guys. So, before my... All right, there we go. I thought my camera's going out of focus again. But anyway, I just want to show you how this dried real quick. It is really, really beautiful. And tomorrow, I am actually going to show you what I made last night. This is so pretty. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And there is some green in there, so happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. It is really beautiful. Alright guys, so... On with the end of the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.